Hello again, we are back for our tutorials for Cinema 4D and create different objects for our game project. So in this tutorial I will show you how to create a heart, how to create a flower, this flower will be our stamina, and how to create exit cross. So the idea is, uh, this will be my main character, later we will do it together. So now uh, how to create a heart. So with Cinema 4D it's really very very simple. Okay, we are no need anymore this drum. We are close it. Uh, we are create a sphere. Just standard sphere with uh, segments, 64 segments, something like that. Okay, now apply for this sphere formula. Go in here, choose a formula and apply this formula like a child for this sphere. So, for this formula, it should be following settings. Size 4000 and XYZ and Z 750. 750. Keep it like this. Check what I get. So, maybe we will check how it was done before. My heart. 400, 750, radial, mm -hmm. render perfect, okay, again check what I get now, Yeah, don't forget. Yeah, formula. Well, I, I now I understood why I get this mistake. Formula, calculate this uh, calculation for every frames. Yeah, if you apply formula, you have go to zero, because if you apply, your heart all time will moving like this. You see, yeah, you can make a very nice animation. So we are create a heart. Very nice. What next? Next, you are select this and this together. Then make right click and make it connect object and delete. We are give name it heart. Very nice. Okay, what material we will apply for this? Double click, apply some material, going for this material and make a choice of red color. Maybe just a little bit dark, something like that. So render and check what is going on. Looks like very nice. Okay, maybe just maybe just little bit brightness, maybe something like that. Yeah, like this I like more. Okay, so we are going to front view by camera. Where is my heart? Turn. As, as you can see, it's very big. Yeah, so we are going like this. Select these tools and make it smaller, maybe something like that. Okay, very nice. So I like this heart. We are going for um, 90, um, 90 degrees rotation. Yeah, now somewhere on the middle. And what we will do now, we will make some animation. So first of all, uh, go to camera and go to composition. Inside composition you have some different options like a grid, like a diagonal, uh, many of them. We will use crosshair. By crosshair very very easy to put heart exactly on the center. Somewhere like this and somewhere like this. So very nice. Now we are going for coordinates. So I like to make my animation for 24 uh, frames. It's mean one second. What I'll do? I'm going for composition and make it maximum 24 frames. It will be my composition, 24 frames. So on, uh, on zero frame, I will make here K point, K frame, 90. After that, 
I am going for 24 frames and turn my heart for 180 degrees. It will be 270. If I play, I will get like this result. You see. And, it's, and it looks like very nice. So, now we are going for composition, uh, for render settings. We are making it only for 512, I no need more. Current, all frames, all because I use for 24 frames per second. Uh, yeah, 24 frames, so I have to make it 23. 23, because I have a zero, as you understood, yeah? So, like this. After that, I am going for save, enable. And we will save it like a heart. Very nice. Again, with alpha channel and render. Push render and wait. You see, yeah? Heart moving and we get some very nice animation with very nice specular effect. So, how to check how it's working? Push on first frame and play. Very nice. Don't forget, it's alpha channel, so we cannot see this black ground. But it's not finished. Now we are create one more material. And inside this material, I no need color and I no need reflection. I need luminance. Select luminance, go to luminance, and it should be exactly white color. So apply this material to heart. Go to render settings, output, and make it only current frame without any change in moving of camera. After that, go to save, hard zero. It's very important. Make hard zero. Yeah? And render. Okay, very nice. What we are doing? For what we needed? So, uh, this will be hard on beginning and this heart will be zero if I haven't any light, a any life, yeah? So it will be like a, uh, like, I don't know, like a scale, life scale. Later, uh, when we are do tutorial in uh, Unreal Engine 4, I will show you how to use it. For a moment, we are prepared. Okay, with heart, we are finished. Now we are going and we are create, we are create a flower. So, what we have to do? Create sphere, very small sphere. Size of the sphere will be, I don't know, maybe 50. Also, it will be, it's a hedron, maybe 12 only. Oh no, 12 is very small, 18. Okay, for this sphere, we are create some, I don't know, maybe some capsula, maybe. Ah, we are, we are trying to create capsula. Okay. We don't need any segments of high. Like this we will keep. We will make it smaller. And shutter. This sphere I disable for a moment and capsula make it editable. So uh, going here, select downstairs, going for soft selection and make it enable, enable soft selection. You see, if now I move, it will be like this and it looks like very nice. Okay, so keep it like this. Take it going on top and like before mograph cloner apply capsula to cloner going to cloner and now i no need sphere i no need object now i use a radial you see it's already coming automatically i don't know i use seven maybe i take my sphere and make it a little bit smaller maybe 35 only and cloner closer maybe something like that why not 
So I take my capsula, going for edit table, select it, make it soft, make it more white. Okay, and then I take this small point and put it a little bit up. So you see, we are half a flower. If I go into cloner and increase it, will be more or will be less, doesn't matter. I like to use for seven. This will be more or less good. Okay, very nice. So materials. Um, here I use a white material on the center and then create one more which will be applied on the cloner. This material will be also with glossiness but it will be exactly yellow, I don't know, something like that. So increase up to maximum, up to maximum how it's possible, something like that. Where is my sphere? Okay, very good. So, render and check what I get. Just a moment. It will be stamina. For a moment, I no need save. Will be only current frame. Render and check. Yeah, looks like very nice. Maybe I just take this uh, center and put little bit on top. Take this center and maybe something like that. Again, render. Yeah, like this I like more. It's more more interesting. Okay, very nice. So what I'll do now, select this and select this, Alt G, it will be stamina. Very nice. Uh, camera, just a moment, coordinates, zero, zero, minus 80, okay. Yeah, very good. So we are going for stamina. Uh, now we are trying to rotate it. You see how it's going, yeah? We are going for stamina, we are going for coordinates, and we are check what is going on. This rotation coming from this one. Okay, so on frame number zero, I will make like this. After that, I make a just similar calculation. So I have, if I make a full round, it will be very fast. I like to make not so very fast rotation. So I'm going somewhere for frames number 10, I think, and I will rotate only, only like this. So how to make a proper calculation? I am going for calculator, 360 degrees, I will divide by 7, 7 this how it's calling, 7 leaves. It's mean 51.43, okay, 51.43, I am going here and make 51.428. Okay, you see? And again, save. After that, I am going for uh, render settings and render from zero up to 10. Save like stamina and render. Wait a little bit. You see how it's going, looks like very nice. So play it and look. You see, yeah, I like it. This animation very nice and I use only 10 frames. And again, going for zero, render settings, stamina, zero, output, only current frame, which will be zero, and apply this material for all stamina, like this. Here I will delete, and here I delete. So, render, Oh no, maybe on the center I will keep like before. Render and wait. Okay. Or also we can use in the center. We will see how it will be more beautiful. If I delete it and render again. Yes. Yeah, I think I'll keep like this. Like this I like more. Okay. 
this we delete we no need yeah so will be like this and this will be if my stamina will be zero very nice what else uh close stamina hide it we no need it anymore going for primitives going for flower and create this flower now inside in the flower in the object properties we have petals which should be only four like this and reduce i don't know maybe something like that and something like like that it will be our cross how to render it uh, going for tools and take sweep tool apply my flowers inside in sweep tool and now for this flower we need to make some shape how to do it we are going for primitives and create a circle we can make a star or something else we create a circle which will be i don't know maybe only 20 very small and put it inside between flower and sweep as you can see i get like this result so now if i use smaller or bigger looks like very nice also if you like you can use i don't know for example some star we are make it smaller star something maybe like this something like this so i take out circle and i apply a star you see how it will be also very nice uh, rectangle wherever you like i just show you main idea so i'll keep like this apply material which will be red rename the sweep for cross and file only current frame output save like a cross and to render it very nice looks like very nice so as you can see we receive more or less where is this more or less same result maybe maybe it will be a good idea if i change a little bit inside maybe something like that and render yes overwrite yeah like this will be better okay good so in this tutorial we are created heart some flower for stamina and some cross for exit of the game uh, see you next time and goodbye friends.